up you guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Coco and I love volleyball so today I'm going to teach you how to overhand pass which is a crucial skill to know in the back row let's get right into it overhand pass and overhand passing is something that I use very often if you watch my volleyball vlogs you might see me do it a lot <laughs> so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna teach you the basics of overhand passing how to form your hands how to get in the proper stance and how to execute so for overhand passing there are a couple things we need to review first before we get into it so I suggest you watch my passing video and if you haven't seen that already make sure you check out my passing video because we're gonna build off of some of the things we learned there in order to get in the proper stance for overhand passing and make sure you watch my how to set video because our hands are very similar to how to set. So we're gonna go right into that. Remember, I'm starting here. I'm not gonna start here because that lets the other team know I'm ready to receive an overhand pass. I'm gonna start in my ready position as if I'm gonna pass here, come straight to passing, or I can come straight to here, straight to here. So I'm starting ready. When you're trying to get a proper toss in order to learn how to overhand pass, there are stages to it. So for the first stage, you really wanna get a really easy going pass. So I'm gonna demonstrate a really easy going pass. It's really light, it's similar to a free ball. That way you can practice getting your hands to the target and then getting the ball to the target, whoever that may be. After that, you're gonna start getting harder overhand passes and that's what I usually use overhand passing for. If I cannot pass the ball and it is above my waist, I overhand pass instead of coming back and hitting it like this. I know a lot of us have had the chest where it comes and it hits us in the pocket of our chest. Chest and it doesn't go anywhere. So that's why I use overhand passing because if it is above my chest level or waist level, it's much easier for me to hand the ball than it is for me to back up and get it right in my chest. And I mean quick movements. If I have enough time to pass, I'm gonna pass the ball. But if it is coming at me quickly and I cannot have enough reaction time, then I will choose to overhand pass. So let's look at some examples of how to toss that ball for an overhand pass. When you're starting overhand passing, start with an easy pass like this. It's really easy to receive. It's something that you can learn how to practice and do the, in the beginning stages. When you start getting more advanced and receiving them better, that's when you want somebody to give you a really hard pass. And you want it to be directed towards your face because usually this is a protective mechanism in order to protect your face. Because sometimes, and it may happen, that you play volleyball and there's a ball coming towards your face, spiraling towards doom. And you're kind of thinking, oh my gosh, this ball is coming really fast. What am I gonna do? Now you know what to do. Overhand pass. 
Did you like this video? I hope that you did. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.